Welcome to this Starseed Heretic Transmission, Clearing Past Life Trauma. In the 3D Matrix there has been so much suffering because of differences, arguments and persecution over religious belief. Many starseeds in many 3D incarnations have suffered for speaking out against repressive or limiting authoritarian systems of belief. This can create problems when it comes to the awakening ascension process, especially when there is the calling to step beyond the judgments, opinions and resistance of others in order to step onto the path of the heart. So as always, breathe, open, soften, relax. Breathe, open, soften and relax. Now call your team in spirit to be with you. Your higher self, monadic self, I am presence, angels, guides, star races. Call upon ultraviolet fire angels to be with you to seal your field in a great sphere of light, protecting you from lower frequency interference, sealing your field, and just breathe and open. And as always, breathing in light from the universe around you, light from 360 degrees into your body into the physical and etheric bodies on the out breath just releasing anything that doesn't serve you releasing anything that doesn't serve you back to the universe and following the cycle of breath on the in breath light light from the stars, the sun, and also from the earth herself. Light, and on the out breath, releasing any lower frequency energies, lower astral energies back to the universe. Breathing into the physical body, light, cells, blood, organs, bones. All systems of the body and releasing anything in the physical body that can be released. And into the chakra system from crown to base. All chakras, all layers, levels and dimensions, light on the in-breath. on the out breath releasing what can be released back to the universe following the cycle of breath and as you do this I call to the angels of the horizontal plane to come be with you beginning with the angel of the east place of the rising sun, Raphael. Archangel of air, healer magician. The symbol of this angel is a caduceus, a large crystal wand with two entwined golden serpents and at the top of the wand where the serpents meet, two golden wings. As you focus on the symbol, call to you now, emerald green fire. Call that fire into every layer level and dimension of your physical and energy bodies. All dimensions, all timelines. Emerald green fire clearing what can be cleared, sealing 
what needs to be sealed, opening what needs to be opened. And just breathing and allowing and connecting to that fire, connecting to that fire. And as this is happening, let's call to the south, to Michael, Archangel of Fire. Warrior Protector Angel, the symbol of this angel is a great sword of light, as tall as your body, perhaps six feet tall. As you focus on the symbol, you call to you the energy of electric blue fire, inviting that fire to protect your field, to seal your field and clear and cleanse your field. All dimensions, all timelines, all layers. Electric blue fire. Two angels, two fires. And as that's happening, let's call to the west, to Gabriel, Archangel of Water. Archangel of Emotions, the dream time, messenger angel. The symbol is a silver chalice or cup. As you focus on the symbol, you call to you diamond white fire into every layer, level and dimension of your body. Physical body, chakra system, emotional body and mental body. Clearing, releasing, aligning and opening Breathing and allowing these three angels, three fires to work through you, to align you, to open you. And as that's happening, let's call to the fourth angel, Uriel of the North, Archangel of Earth, of power, of structure. The symbol is a golden pentagram, a golden five-pointed star in a circle of light. And the energy is ruby red fire. Calling that fire to every layer, level and dimension of your physical body. Chakra system. Emotional and mental bodies. Just breathe and allow. Four angels, four fires. Four angels, four fires. And into the space I call the vertical force angels, Metatron and Sandalphon. Metatron brings down the Christ grid, a golden grid of light from the central sun through the stargate of our sun down filling the room and coming down to the body top of head through the head and neck and throat chakras opening and chest and heart anchoring into the heart. Allow all chakras from the heart upwards to align with the Christ grid, including all chakras beyond the body itself, above the head, open and align with the Christ grid. Sandophon to bring up the crystalline grid of the earth. This white fairy like energy from the earth up to the feet and up through the legs, coming through the torso, through base and belly. Solar plexus. 
anchoring into the heart. Allow all chakras from the heart down to align with the crystalline grid. Six angels, six fires, just opening your field, opening, opening, expanding your field into a great sphere of light, expanding your field into a great sphere of light, allow the light to expand as if you're standing in a great spherical hall of light. Somewhere in your energy field, I call an elevator, an elevator. This elevator leads to the Akashic Library, your Akashic Library. Find the elevator, stand in front of the elevator. The door opens, step inside the elevator. There's a great array of buttons, many going up and many going down, 33 levels in both directions. Just allow yourself to be guided to which level you need to go to, whether up or down. And press the button of the level you need to go to that leads to a lifetime where you were a starseed heretic. Allow the doors to close and the elevator will ascend or descend in accordance with your choice. Allowing elevator to carry you towards the appropriate level of the Akashic Library, whether up or down. Just allowing and noticing the ascent or the descent. Breathing, allowing the elevator to carry you. And eventually the elevator begins to slow down, begins to slow down and stop. The door opens, step out of the elevator. The door closes behind you and look down at your feet. Notice you're standing on solid ground, even if that solid ground is light. Even if that solid ground is light. And open your inner senses, open your inner senses and allow the space around you to rise up. You may find yourself in a great hall or library The entry point into your Akashic records, just allowing the space to arise, the perhaps books or scrolls or furnishings or desks or whatever's there. Perhaps you're in an empty hall, just noticing the space, noticing the forms, the colors, the sounds, the silence, the feeling of this place, perhaps even the taste and smell of the place. I call into this place to meet you, your higher self or a guide. Just waiting and opening and allowing a guide to enter the hall. Perhaps your higher self or a being of light. Just feeling or sensing or seeing this being. 
approaching you as light, radiating light. Get a feeling for this being and as you meet this being I also call the recording angels recording angels of your Akashic records. Those beings that record all of your life experiences. Just feeling them, seeing them or sensing them around you. These are the beings that hold this place, hold the integrity of this place. And I ask your higher self to lead you to a space or a room that represents a lifetime where there has been persecution or trauma. Your higher self may turn and follow your higher self, feeling the silent presence of the recording angels follow your higher self down a corridor. And there may be many doors, many rooms, many spaces down this corridor. One of the doors is your door. higher self will stop outside of the door. Stand in front of the door. Notice how you feel about this particular energy, this lifetime. And when you're ready, step through the door with your higher self and close the door behind you. Once again, look down at your feet. Notice you're standing on solid ground. Allow the room to arise up around you. Perhaps the room is empty or perhaps there are images or energies there. I call into this space a screen, a two-dimensional screen on one of the walls or in this space a screen. And I ask the recording angels to begin to reveal to you images, feelings, thoughts, memories from another lifetime. lifetime of persecution to begin to be revealed to you. Open and trusting your first impressions and feelings. Perhaps the feelings will lead to the memories, perhaps the memory will lead to the feeling. Just open to the feelings and sensations in your body. A lifetime where you persecuted, where you suffered trauma, perhaps death, imprisonment, perhaps public humiliation, exile or torture. A lifetime of trauma, of shock, of stress, where there are energies blocking you now in this lifetime. So breathing and noticing any memories or feelings. Perhaps there may be a feeling of faint fear or faint guilt or faint shame or anger or faint grief or rage. Feel whatever needs to be felt. Invite the feelings to intensify. Allow the memories to begin to take form on the screen. And as 
as you breathe, you may notice a mist around you forming in the room and as this happens, the two-dimensional screen begins to form into a three-dimensional scene around you as if you've stepped into the lifetime. lifetime to appear around you and I ask your guide, your higher self to lead you into the lifetime as if you can step into the lifetime into the timeline the space and time of this lifetime and who are you in this lifetime? Who are you? What is happening to you in this lifetime? Become the witness. Breathing and opening and noticing and following your higher self who will reveal to you the details of this lifetime, who you are, what happened to you, perhaps even why it happened to you. Go now. Be a witness to the lifetime. Notice the feelings. The images, any thoughts or judgments about this lifetime. Ask your higher self to lead you past all the relevant information, going now to the point of death, the point of death in this lifetime. However you died, whether traumatically through execution or some other form, call upon your higher self and all angels to release the soul, all of the light of the soul, and take the soul to a temple of healing, all of the light of the soul. At the point of death, releasing you in this lifetime to the angels and higher self to hold you, all of your light, taking you to a temple of healing. And as this is happening, call into your hands a large clear quartz crystal sealed in ultraviolet fire. This crystal is highly magnetic. Hold the crystal up in this lifetime and anywhere you have scattered or fragmented your light because of the trauma, because of the persecution, call the light back into the crystal.
and see light flowing into the crystal from 360 degrees. Light that is fragmented because of fear or pain or shame or anger or rage or grief. Calling back the light into the crystal. Seal the light in the crystal, and when it stops coming, hand it to your higher self, saying, please clear, cleanse, heal, transform this light, cleansing it of trauma, and return it to the oversoul. It should not come back to your body, this is not your lifetime. Surrender it to the higher self. And let's call to the recording angels. We now need to address the Akashic Records. What is bleeding through from that lifetime into this lifetime? calling the recording angels to show you what is bleeding through. Perhaps there are trapped emotions, perhaps unconscious beliefs or blocks. Perhaps self-sabotage. Perhaps programs of helplessness, powerlessness, perhaps even I deserve punishment. Perhaps there may have even been some black magic or energy manipulation. Perhaps curses you've sent or received. Just ask to see now, to feel now, what's bleeding through into this lifetime. Breathing and opening, noticing any energies from this lifetime blocking you or inhibiting you or conditioning you. And I call upon ultraviolet fire angels and grace Elohim and your team in spirit of the highest light to begin to clear all projections in your energy field from the collective or family or friends in that lifetime. Anything bleeding into this, cleansing and clearing with ultraviolet fire and grace Elohim, which creates a kind of silver violet fire rippling through your field. Build releasing, releasing, and also clearing all energy manipulation, mind control or magic if there is any. Cleansing and clearing any ritual magic. Dissolving any implants or alien devices or circuitry that you've somehow attracted because of this lifetime. Dissolving implants, alien devices, or circuitry. And 
going to the level of belief and programs, cleansing any programs of helplessness, of powerlessness, of deserving punishment, any beliefs or stories around it's not safe, I must hide or conform, I must repress my truth, not speak my truth, I must not radiate my light, silver violet fire rippling through your field, cleansing these old beliefs in the mental body and programs in the unconscious mind. cleansing and anywhere your unconscious mind is sabotaging your movement forward because of fear from this lifetime or pain or conditioning or programming allowing silver violet fire to ripple through the unconscious mind cleansing all blocks to you moving forward transmuting all programs and associated energies Releasing any imprint of shock or stress or trauma or pain. Releasing all imprints, all minds, all bodies, all timelines, all levels, layers of the unconscious mind. Releasing. If there has been any curses, anywhere you've cursed your persecutors, Sending that fire, silver violet fire through your layers of your energy fields and unconscious mind, releasing any curses you've directed towards your persecutors and instead perhaps open to acceptance and release. May they find their own learnings around these events at the right time for them. Dissolving all karmic bindings sending silver violet fire to release anywhere you have been cursed by your persecutors. May you find your own learnings around these events at the right time. Releasing all karmic bindings. I call upon Metatron to assist to close any portals to this lifetime, openings. Ultraviolet fire, Grace Elohim and Metatron, closing portals, releasing any entities or energies, any lower astral energies or entities, releasing, dissolving any cords or threads to any beings from this lifetime and releasing them from your field. them from your field and 
allowing silver violet fire to ripple through the throat chakra throat chakra the center of self-expression dissolving any energies there cords there threads there cleansing the throat giving you full permission now to speak your truth to follow your true soul's path same time sending silver violet fire through the sacral center clearing any blocks to emotional creative or sexual self-expression dissolving dissolving and as all this clearing is happening I call upon the recording angels asking them the question are any of the players in that persecuting lifetime are any of them known in this current incarnation sometimes players in a traumatic lifetime can be known in the current incarnation not always but sometimes allowing now the recording angels to reveal to you the players involved if there are indeed any known to you in this lifetime. Give, release any karmic bindings with those people, any programs or stories playing out in this lifetime with those people. Dissolving cords to those people, any programs or stories with those people, dissolving. Allowing more light between you. Metatron to repair your connection to the great web of life, all strands, the golden web. All strands or threads connecting you to the higher realms, the spirit realms. Repairing your connection to spirit. Anywhere that connection has been interfered with or torn or broken repairing the connection and know it's safe for you in this lifetime to walk your true path express your true light it's safe in this lifetime to be who you're truly meant to be to awaken to your mission allowing the golden web that your connection to spirit to be repaired and strengthened and finally I call upon the recording angels to reveal to you any gifts of healing or teaching or leading or communicating, or connecting or uplifting, ready to come back to you in this lifetime. Any gifts that have been blocked or suppressed because of the trauma of this other lifetime, allowing the energies of these gifts to be returned to you through the body, through the unconscious mind, up to your conscious awareness. Develop many gifts over many lifetimes. And this one lifetime of persecution may be a
block to those gifts, but now we're releasing that block and allowing the gifts to arise to consciousness. Perhaps over the days and weeks ahead, more and more layers of your gifts coming online. And breathing. And then when you're ready, taking a step back out of this lifetime. Allow the images to dissolve, the screen to go blank. As if you're in a room or a space with a blank screen and dissolving the screen. And following your higher self out of the room now. In the corridor, there are many doors along this corridor following your higher self back to the hall. Back to the hall. Or feeling this presence of your higher self and the silent presence of the recording angels. Thanking all beings that have helped you here, the ultraviolet fire, Grace Elohim, Metatron, and indeed the recording angels. Releasing them with thanks and your higher self is before you. Your higher self offers you a symbol of light, a symbol of light representing the returning gifts that are ready to come back to you now. This symbol may be anything from a key, a scroll, a crystal, a flower, a geometric symbol, a sacred symbol. Take the symbol in your hands. Allow it to dissolve as light into your hands. Allow that energy to flow deep in the cells of the body and to the DNA of the body. Allow that energy also to flow into the chakra system, particularly the throat and sacral chakras of self-expression. Absorbing, allowing and opening. And then your higher self will take his leave or her leave. Coming back to the elevator, the door opens, step back into the elevator, the door closes and begin the return journey, whether descending or ascending, coming back to the level you began at, coming back. Eventually the elevator stops and the door opens, and stepping out into a great sphere of light, held by six angels, thanking all angels, Metatron Sandalphon, of the vertical force, Allow them to step back and thanking Uriel and Gabriel and Michael and Raphael, allowing them to step back. Thanking your team and spirit of the highest light and resonance. Allowing all light to be returned to you, calling your light back into your energy field, contracting the light back, a place that feels comfortable. Absorbing all gifts of the journey, releasing what needs to be released, coming back to your body. Coming back to your body. And as always, this transmission is offered to you with love and blessings. Love and blessings.